بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈیز پریکٹیکل ٹاپک دا فرسٹ پریکٹیکل آف آف آور کلاس وچ بلونگس ٹو لائف اسٹاک مینجمنٹ سیکشن دا ٹائٹل آف آور پریکٹیکل ٹوڈے از آئیڈینٹیفیکیشن آف باڈی پارٹس آف لائف اسٹاک سو ایز آئی آلریڈی مینشن یو ٹول یو دیٹ کیٹل بفلو شیپ گوٹ Uh, these animals are especially of interest uh, in uh, livestock management. No doubt other animals like draft animals, for example, donkey, horse, uh, mules, uh, even camels, they are also um, uh, animals which provide us milk. So all these animals are of uh, interest for us in livestock management. So uh, uh, identification of their body parts, uh, especially of different uh, uh, livestock species is very important. Uh, because uh, mm, first of all we need to understand the external body features features of these uh, species uh, i mean uh, uh, it is very very important why because uh, see as your body you can uh, identify all your body parts and from these body parts you can say that this is nose and it, uh, the function of this part is this this is a cheek this is a forehead this is uh, these are eyes these are uh, ear and so and so so uh, the to understand uh, external body features of these species is the main objective second objective is to uh, sometimes we we use different uh, Uh, crude methods for the measurement of uh, or calculation of body weight of an animal species especially in cattle and buffalo because these are heavy animals and if we don't have uh, larger uh, scales uh, measuring scales or uh, weighing scales we then uh, use some crude methods for the body weight measurement so the second point to understand is to these uh, external body features because we use these uh, dimensions or use these external body features for the measurement of body weight and thirdly uh, the most important uh, objective of this practical is to judge animals for their selection see whenever uh, when we know that uh, the different body parts of uh, an animal uh, we can predict different uh, traits of animals for example if we are going to buy a cow um and uh, definitely the objective is to get milk then we would uh, focus on milk veins milk veins uh, the, the size of the udder and uh, the, the distribution of veins the more the veins are distributed and uh, uh, the dense these uh, veins are the higher the uh, production milk production will be so these are some traits which are relevant to uh the animal productivity and hence ultimately we we get get help from these body features whether we should select these this animal or not so without any delay i would go to the first slide of uh, uh, cattle so cattle basically uh, the different uh, parts of uh, cattle are uh, uh, i would divide this whole uh, see first up to neck the head portion up to neck uh, we can observe here some poles pole like or singo ke liye jo jagah hoti hai usko pole kehte hain uske ye pole hai and this one is forehead and the bridge of the nose muzzles and then nostrils the jaws upper and uh, upper and lower jaw then comes the throat and here is a neck uh, where its uh, neck ends the shoulder uh, blade starts uh, basically this is the whole shoulder shoulder kande and uh, at the i mean the point of shoulder uh, below uh, there is a skin hanging uh, below this from this point is known as dew lap and below, or above this dew lap there is a brisket just uh, at the rear end of this brisket or rear side of this brisket there is a joint elbow joint elbow joint because the leg will start from here so in the leg portion if we we i mean focus on the different body parts we can see that from from uh, from the ground to up uh, the first part which is uh, uh, touching the ground is sole sole of the uh, feet then at the back side is a heel 
then the upper portion from this uh, soul is uh, 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 we can say it uh, shank and then comes the knee joint or knee so this was our uh, our almost uh, the four side of the animal then uh, as we observe the animal from the back side from uh, sorry left side we can see that here is a chest cavity or chest floor and uh, from this chest floor uh, uh, on its uh, upper side there are some uh, uh, there are, are uh, uh, ribs so ribs uh, below these ribs we can very clearly see the milk vein, wells and milk veins so memory veins milk wells uh, all these things are present uh, in the uh, lower belly, uh, belly portion and these are leading towards the udder and udder has two parts the fore udder and rear udder rear uh, fore udder actually is uh, in front of the uh, rear legs ye jo piche wali taange hain unse aage hota hai and uh, uh, rear udder is basically at the rear side of the legs so therefore these are known as uh, um, fore udder and rear udder each udder basically um, has four teeth in case of cattle and buffalo but in case of sheep and goat only two teeth are present uh coming towards the back side of the animal just here is a, pin, a tail head and from where the tail is uh, uh, i mean moving down uh, there is a place for uh, support to the tail and two 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 points basically pin points are uh, are arising on both sides so these are known as pin bones just below that portion is the thighs and if we look at the tail there is a tail tail end this tail end is known as switch so um, these are some different um, parts starting from front to lower side to the back side now from the upper side if we observe all these things basically it has uh, the uh, back of the animal has basically two parts main two parts starting from just at the end of the neck there are uh, uh, it starts its uh, back up to the hip bone where its hip starts and from where the hip starts till the uh, tail head or tail uh, side um, there is a rump so this one side is known as the rump and uh, then here just before overall the back contains two parts the kine and loin area uh, basically kine portion is uh, extended up to the ribs so wherever the last ribs uh, is this portion is up to that limit and uh, when these ribs are uh, i mean the rib area is uh, finished or uh, to the hip uh, point Uh, the loin portion is uh, pr- uh, over over here so basically um, these these are some generally external features of uh, uh, body or external body features of cattle here okay i just want to share one thing and make it um, want to make it clear to all of you because uh, uh, cattle buffalo all these species even including sheep and goat main body parts or features are same along with some um, some exceptions uh, and, and nothing is uh, i mean uh, I, i would not say that they are totally different from each other anatomically or physically uh, or structure wise so same here horn tall forehead face nose nostrils and here is a starts the dew lap brisket area then the knee joint and pastern pastern basically is a, is a kind of uh, uh, i mean scaly uh, modification uh, below the sole or above the sole uh, here we may have observed especially if if we see in cocks murgon mein agar dekhe to ye bada clear cut it's a scale uh, so this is a modification pastern uh, instead of uh, or in addition to these features i don't find any difference uh, between these two uh, species see here is a back and then comes the rump and that's it then sheep sheep almost everything is same but it's uh, hooves 
hoofs are there and um, yeah memory gland structure is different because it contains two teats the udder of the sheep contains two teats and its rump is known as the dog side dog rump is rump is known as dog side and that's it coming towards the goat see um uh, almost all these uh, structures are diff are almost same um i don't find any uh, clear cut uh, difference in the um, external body features of the goat as compared to sheep uh, cattle and buffalo okay the last thing is uh, identification of body parts of chicken yes here are some differences which we can find very easily for example the combs calvi vetals the lower hanging portion this one the beaks the eyes the ear lobes on both sides ear lobes and the back is known as its its back is very very short and curvy so at the back at the almost end of the back there is a saddle here the tail and uh, in case of a uh, cow or the male uh, the chicken uh, this, its its tail uh, uh, feathers are like sickle feathers okay and the uh, toes or claws are over there here and then comes uh, this point is known as spur this this upper point um, you may uh, remember in uh, cattle or buffalo is a pedestrian uh th this one is uh, known as fur in case of uh, chicken so shanks hock joint and then here is a heckle uh this one portion see extended portion is uh, basically uh, the heckle heckle feathers they are very much extended in it and uh, both share this breast and but in case of female i mean uh, the hen uh, at the back of uh, uh, at the end of the vent it is it is covered with fluffy uh, feathers very 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 fine feather so this is known as fluff and uh, i think all these features are i mean uh, you can see uh, here uh, there is no uh, extraordinary features which, uh, which are uh, i mean we can find from this um uh, picture or this slide so if all of you have some question first of all thank you for listening to me clearly and uh, peacefully